Stay here. I'll go check it out. I'm in. Main entrance is clear. Over here! Agent, you need to cut off the primary escape route. Take out the boats that got docked southwest of your position. I'll keep an eye on the main entrance and make sure he doesn't double back. You have been promoted to group leader. You are now group leader. Another agent has joined your group. You are watching Random Place, this is Radio Gamer, back on track, loud and clear. Last time we've had full tardigrade foundry bulwark build, right now we'll be playing with a lot of armor once again but this is gonna be for armor upon kill. Now have you ever made a shotgun build? Well we will be rumbling the NPCs face on with two shotguns, namely the Sweet Dreams Shotgun Exotic and the Chinami named item. This armor on kill build will be truly tough on face to face even gaining approximately more than 600,000 armor per kill. The combo play as you have seen earlier is macking them with the sweet dreams and then switch and hit hard with those shotgun shrapnels. So without further ado, just to get the hang of it, let's get started. Starting off with this specialization, we will be choosing Gunner to utilize this talent called Incessant right over here in which that would give additional armor on kill percentage. Killing enemies grants 10% armor on tier 3. Next is the Barrage talent. This will be giving 5% increased rate of fire on kill for 5 seconds. And lastly, we will be having the Supply Line talent that would be handy since our primary and secondary are both shotguns. This would help us generate 10% of total ammo capacity every 60 seconds. Party members get 5%. For the weapons, we will be having two shotguns and one feature of this build is the Sweet Dreams Shotgun Exotic. As you can see, we will be hitting 1.1 million per shot and I do have 14% shotgun damage, 11% damage to armor, and 10% 
damage that I get out of cover. Now I do have here the talent called Sandman. This is an instant kill and it specifically states here that melee attacks instantly kill non-elite enemies. So non-elite enemies would be the purple ones and the red ones. Cooldown is for 15 seconds. Now for the primary weapon, we will be having this named item called Trinami. It is a shotgun as well. We will be having 629,000 damage, 13% shotgun damage, 11% damage to armor, and also max 10% damage to target out of cover. Now we do have the talent here called Perfect Pommel. In two consecutive kills, it refills the magazine and grants 40% weapon damage for 10 seconds so again the reason behind that we will be equipping two shotguns is first we will be smacking the enemies with the use of this shotgun exotic called sweet dreams and then right after we will be hitting hard with this named item called tsunami right off the bat we will be using three pieces better tough coming from the mask backpack and with the chest as well. So with this brand set, we will be having 10% shotgun damage for the first piece. Now we will be having 5% for two pieces and equipping all the three better tough would gain us 10% armor and kill. Next would be the two pieces system corruption gear set right over here, coming from the holster and with the knee pads. And this two pieces will be having 15% armor and kill. Now for the last gear piece, we will be having this specific to our gloves. This is called Death Grips. It is a named item and this has specific attribute which is 5% armor on kill. Thus, in total, we will be having 30% armor upon kill. So including the one that we have with the gunner specialization, that would be a total of 40% and uh, 1.5 million, 40% of that is 600,000. And for us to utilize the armor on kill capability of this build, we will be stacking our armor and four of which are almost in 170,000 armor with the mask, chest, backpack, and in my case with the gloves as well. While the other two pieces are in red core attributes, in my case this is going to be for the holster. And with the knee pads, this is for the weapon damage to somehow balance and make decent damage from our shotguns. Going with the talent, it would be ideal having this named item chest called Zero Fs and this will instantly refill your armor by 100% as it gets broken and depleted. Cooldown is for 55 seconds. But if you do not have this item in your stash, you can go recalibrate a decently armored budger tough chest and fit in the talent called Unbreakable. Next would be our backpack over here. And this would be a perfect fit since you will be facing the enemies up front. Adrenaline Rush is good for you because whenever you are within 10 meters of an enemy, gain 20% bonus armor for 5 seconds and it stacks up to 3 times. Cooldown is for 5 seconds. So again, in order for you to make possible of the 40% armor and kill, these are the essential gears that you will be needing. First would be the death grips. This would be fixed since this is the only item that will be giving 5% armor and kill. Next would be the budget tough. You will be needing three pieces of them and we will be having 10% armor and kill. Next would be this two pieces system corruption and we will be having 15% armor and kill. Now for the remaining 10% that will be coming from our specialization which is the gunner and in total we will be having 40% armor and kill. For the mod slots I have equipped the red ones and for the mask chest and backpack I have went for crit hit damage but you can see anything that you see fit but in my case I have used the crit hit damage now with the skills I have equipped this ballistic shield and we have here in tier 4 since we have 4 blue core attributes that is 40% active regeneration 150% shield health and 20% holster regeneration. Now this ballistic shield will be your last resort and that will be buying you some time to kill those enemies to get those 600,000 armor on kill that you will get per NPC. Now for the next skill, I have used this bungee pulse in order to utilize the gunner specialization but if you want to, you can go for a decoy for distraction or maybe going with the striker drone. And lastly as usual, I'll be showing you the preview of our stats. And by special request, we are making a shout out for our fellow agents, namely John Julian Martinez, Jethro Policarpio, Edu Robles. Thank you for your continued support. That's it for the video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. And please do subscribe to my channel. I will really appreciate it for more upcoming Division 2 videos. Once again, you are watching Random Place. This is Radio Gamer. Over now.